Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am going to be um, cleaning my filming slash beauty slash craft room kind of. <laughs> um, I have a big mess in there because I've been sewing some masks for my family and I just have everything all over the place and boxes with makeup and just a random a bunch of random stuff so I gotta get it organized and I think I'm gonna bring out my um, filming equipment so like basically like my backdrop my lights because um, I haven't taken that out since we moved in I need to take those out so I can have the proper lighting and everything for when I do uh, makeup videos uh, because I haven't been doing them um, how I, I have in the past so I'm gonna show you what the room looks like right now like I said, it's a mess, so let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so this is my room. So I'm gonna open up the door so you guys can see the big mess I have. And we'll just go from there as far as organizing and cleaning. Um, so here we go. So hopefully um, the lighting is okay. Like I said, I don't have my lights up right now. All right, so this is what it kind of looks like. I'm gonna try and get like good angles so this is basically you know walking in so there i have a bunch of stuff on the floor so if you guys see it's like my patterns fabric my sewing machine and stuff and over here to the right i'm gonna move closer so over here on this side um you guys see i still have these storage bins here that I need to move out. And sorry, the ice cream man decided to come through right now. Just wait for that. All right, so you guys might still hear the ice cream man, but for the most part, he already drooped by here. So, um, like I said, this is all like my sewing stuff. Like that's like, that corner is basically my craft and sewing area. Um, and then I have the cutting board that's what's on the floor with everything else and then I still have like the frame right there um, like some of the stuff if you remember from my haul like my thrift store haul I still have them there I have to get these storage bins out of here and put them probably in the guest room for now um, that way I could put my backdrop right there and I still don't have a makeup table um, because the one I used before is one that's holding the computer right now and I think it just would take so much space in this room um, because the counter like the yeah I guess you could say the top counterpart of the desk is so it's like wide so it takes up a lot of space and I don't want it to be so clustered in here um, so yeah and then over here uh, my cube and then just a bunch of stuff there. I have makeup brushes that I gotta wash and then I'm gonna move over here. And I just have um, some PR stuff and then I still have like these baskets that I got from the hall that I need to clean. I did take off the little like slip thing that goes like the fabric part. I did take those off those two baskets and um, I washed them and everything so they're ready I just need to clean the baskets so basically um, I just have to clean all of this up so if you guys saw my house tour um, then you saw that in my filming room I ended up adding all my makeup stuff in here so this is the um, my Alex drawers and then I have some other stuff over here that I need to organize um, I had just makeup here because I've been doing makeup, but I've been posting those looks more on Instagram because I'm not doing, I'm really technically not doing videos. Um, but I am doing some on TikTok, so if you guys don't follow me there, I'll have the, um, my handle up here. It's basically the same as all my other handles. Um, yeah, and I, I want to get my, oh, dropping stuff, I want to get my, drawers organized again because after the move stuff fell i do have something stuck on the bottom and i have to figure out a way to pull out the drawer the drawers don't pull out all the way it's like the little the rail thing kind of stops it from coming all the way out so 
um, there's something stuck on the bottom and I have to open this drawer up and I'm going to try and figure that out today. And then I want to use these, um, little organizing things that I want to put where my lippies and all that stuff is in the drawers. And I think I might have to, um, move it to a deeper drawer because the one I have it on, um, it's not really deep and I don't think this would fit and I don't know how well I could cut this. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try and do that. Also, I need to fix my makeup brushes that I still have in a makeup bag and I still have the organizer, the like acrylic organizer that I got for that and I need to put them in there. So I'm hoping I can do all of that in this video. Um, if not, then I might split that one up to a different one um, and just be its own separate, you know, organizing my makeup again. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to start with everything else around here. I think I'm going to do like a speed through of that way it doesn't take forever and you guys can just kind of go along with it um, and I'll play some music. So we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so I did get some gloves so I can just wear I don't want to have to keep washing my hands and just mess them up even more than they already are. So they're like super dry and cracked and lotion just doesn't seem to want to work. So I'm um, using gloves. And then I also grabbed my uh, glass cleaner, the one from Grove. If you guys didn't see my haul, um, I placed my first order and everything and I've been using the stuff ever since I ordered it. I'm very pleased with the stuff that I got and everything. This is a glass cleaner. Um, they sent me the concentrate and then the glass bottle. So it makes it easy. So I made it and then um, got the the cloth here, some microfiber, and then I'm going to use the uh, Miss Myers multi-surface cleaner and that I will use like on everything else that is not glass basically. So, I'm going to use this stuff and just try and clean. I basically cleaned the house yesterday. Um, I took care of everything else, but I kind of left this to be its own like thing. So, I'm going to try and do this and not take forever, but we will see. I might have to put my hair up later. But, for right now, um, I'm going to grab like the patterns I have fabric there was a bunch of fabric that I washed um, to do masks like I said uh, I've been doing masks for my family and everything so I've been uh, doing that so that's why I have this mess with the sewing stuff so I'm gonna grab the stuff and kind of I think I might pull some stuff out of the room and then just go from there that way I have the space to figure out how I'm gonna place everything um, but yeah right now this whole bag right here, this one right here, is full of fabric that I just washed. So this is all clean and this is just fabric that I've been using. So I'm going to pull this out and I think I might put it in the hallway, like in the cabinet. Um, just make some room and just put all my clean fabric there. Because I have a box of more fabric, but it's other kind of fabric that I would have to wash again. I mean, they were all clean before. But um, I decided just to freshen them up because I did have them in a box because we moved. And um, yeah, just, I mean, yeah. So I'm going to take this out or just put it aside for now. And then see if you guys can see this big old mess. Okay, the lighting is like very trippy right now. But um, I got a new tripod, so I'm trying it out and everything just to get like better angles and everything. So I still, I'm still trying to get used to this. Um, so you might not be able to see everything that I'm doing right now. Unless I had it like much higher or something. Not sure. Okay, so what I'm trying to do right now is pick this all up. My fabric, or well I have some fabric there. And then my pa the patterns that I got. Um, my kit right there with some sewing stuff. And then like these frames. So these frames I'm going to clean and pull out of here so I can finally put my stuff in there and um, yeah just get all this situated so I'm gonna make this disappear <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I cleared out basically everything. Um, I just brought that in because it was hot in here. And then I have these right here on the corner. But before I do anything else, I'm going to vacuum because I need to do so. So this is what my cube looks like right now. So on that little that little um, piece right there that's that clear see-through, uh, I had some little figures there, but I'd have to, I think I still have them in a box. Um, they're like DC bombshells. Um, so I'd have to take those out and put them in there unless I should put something else in there. I'm not sure. If you guys have any suggestions or what I should do, put in there, let me know. Um, but I just have my Hello Kitty dispenser. It doesn't have any liquid in there. Um, and then that little like gumball machine. I just have like my sponges for my makeup. And then um, these little things up here. So only thing I did was uh, change the two bottom ones on the like outer corners. So that pixie box was on this side. So I just moved it over here. And then I just put this one in um because i just got this i think like last month or so so i just switched it around and i don't know maybe along the way i'll change this up but that is what this corner is looking like and then of course this would be like the wall where i have my uh, backdrop and then over here is the craft area um not doing anything here the only thing is um, I actually took this out of the cube little thing because I'm going to use this for maybe storing these little things here or like my scissors just to make them accessible and not have them all here. Right now it's just a mess. I just put it in like that because I still have to figure out a uh, like a good organizing method. These jars right here, I have like buttons. They're kind of separated by colors and like, yeah, I think it's just colors because not really textures. So colors, so I'm gonna figure that out later. Sewing machine, my rulers, and then over here, like I said, I just brought this fan over because it was hot. And then this is my other sewing machine, which I need to put on top in there in the closet just for now so I can vacuum. So I'm gonna do the vacuuming real quick and um, then we'll go from there. The vacuuming is all done. Anybody else have a thing for carpet lines? I mean, I know they're all over the place, but I don't know, it's like satisfying. So it's all vacuumed. Um, I have to charge my battery because it's already flashing. I think what I'll do while my battery charges is just take these out. It's all my equipment for my lighting and my backdrop. And I'll just bring it out and like set it up, like put it together. And then once my battery's charged, then I'll pop in here and kind of show you guys. Hey guys, so um, today's a different day. So this is a day two. Um, yesterday, the last thing I said, I was gonna charge my battery because it was dying. Um, and I was gonna put up my backdrop, my lights, my equipment basically, um, just to kind of step it up a little bit and not make this video so long. So I did that yesterday. So I set up my backdrop, my lights, um, so I have them right now. So maybe the lighting looks a little bit different compared to yesterday. That was like one of my struggles yesterday as well because the lighting, I don't, I didn't have my lights out. So I was just using natural light, which usually changes. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to show you what the room looks like right now. 
that's the, the only thing I did was the lighting and the backdrop. So I haven't moved anything else in here besides the stuff that was already in here. This right here is basically my backdrop. So um, the videos that I record that I post up here on YouTube or like any of my Instagram that involves like makeup and everything. So whenever I do those videos, I put up fabric that I have and I just spread it all through here. Um, I've had this backdrop, I think I want to say like two years. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it might be two years, maybe three. Um, but I got this on Amazon. Pretty cool because it's everything, everything you see is included. Um, it did come with two of these, like, uh, I think two. Yeah, I think it just came with the two clamps. Um, but I went ahead and ordered more just to hold more and pull the fabric a little bit more from the sides. Um, these are like basically bags. I'm not sure if you guys will see them, but they're on the bottom here. They're basically bags that you can put like sand or just like anything just to have this be more stable and it doesn't move around so easily. Um, I don't have any sand in them, but I do have like weights. I just put them in the bags and then it's keeping them down. Uh, and then also this comes in its own like carrying case. So you guys can take this with you. Um, if you want to travel with it or if you're doing like photo shoots stuff like that you guys can carry with you so that's pretty cool um, all this stuff like all my equipment I always have it uh, linked in my description box so if you guys are interested you guys can check it out they're very affordable obviously you know um, I've had these for a few years and I mean for the price it's good and they work and I'm telling you that from experience because I've had them and they're still in perfect, great condition. So on the sides, I have two umbrella lights that I'll show you. These I've had the longest and the camera. Um, so I'm going to show you those. And then I also have a ring light. I just don't have it um, on or anything just because I'm not using it. To the right here with the sewing um, craft area, I have one of the umbrella lights. I think... I think I'm gonna have one of the umbrella lights there just so it's not in the way and in the middle of the room. The lighting is all like messed up. Like I said, I'm I have to still like mess with it and see how to do it. Um and then I have this ring light as well. Um I think I've had this one as long as the umbrella lights and my camera. I can't really I'm I'm trying to think, but I'm not sure. Um the only new thing that I that I added was this like protective it's like protective, but it also helps the light not be so like bright and just overexpose me like when I'm doing videos. Um, I didn't, I don't have it plugged in or anything, but um, this works perfect. And usually what I would do is I would have it on and then right here you have the ability to put on your uh, camera. So you have the camera and then the ring light and then you can like record. But all the equipment that I use for filming, so this includes my camera, my lights, my backdrop, the ring light. I um, I got those all from Amazon, so it's like super convenient if you want to start like your own channel, start off. You don't really need all this stuff, but if you want to create like good quality uh, content, um, then I would recommend it. Like I said, I've had these for years, so they work great. They do its purpose. Um, so yeah, that's basically with my stuff. The other uh, light is right next to my storage cube thingy. I have to bring back in my my stuff, like my sewing mat and everything, and try and figure out how we're gonna do this. And I think I might do the makeup organizer in a separate video so it's not super long and that way I could get all this situated before I move on to like the closet area so um I think I might speed it up with everything else that I need to bring back in here and then go from there <laughs>
plugged in my cutting mat for my sewing stuff. I plugged in my uh, sewing machine again, and then I just brought in uh, the chair um, that I had in here. So I'm just placing it against the wall, and then I moved the um, ring light over here too, just for now because I don't need it on this side. And I'm still like, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out the whole layout of the room, and the ice cream man is passing by again. I guess it's perfect timing that I decide to um, film and the ice cream man passes by. But it's also like very just like, sounds really, really close because uh, my room is actually in the front of the house. Um, so like I said, I still have to figure out the whole layout of how I want this room to be. And then um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do with my sewing like stuff. I did think of like putting just having it inside the closet just so it wouldn't be out in you know the room and taking up space but I don't have an outlet um, in there <laughs> of course no closets have outlets unless there is I just don't know but um, I don't have an outlet in there and the cord wouldn't come out all the way over here and it just seems like too much cables like just all over the place um, so I still have to figure that out or maybe putting it in the office for now Just to give me more space in here But then again, I don't really have too much furniture in here because I don't have a desk for my filming So I think that's gonna be like something I need to work on but I do want to paint this room eventually So if you guys have any ideas, I was thinking going for like something like pastel colors I just really like pastel colors and I don't know, it would just like make the room like really bright and like happy. Um, I would still use my backdrop and then use fabric um, just so it's not like, you know, I'm doing a specific look and then it's not going with my background or anything like that. So um, that's like something I have to figure out how I want to do this room and what's going to make the best use of the space that I have here um, and then of course like I said the cube stuff you know I I could change it here and there depending on what I'm feeling um so yeah and then I still have to go through like the extra bags that I have for my sewing stuff it's a lot of like zippers and more buttons that I just have to figure out and that's why this one, which was part of a PR, this like jar from Pixie, I think I'll reuse it to put some of my stuff in here. Um, it's a good size and I could, I'm sure, put some stuff in here and get rid of the Ziploc bags. Um, so that's like something I gotta figure out, but that's like its own thing. Like I don't, I don't have to like do that right now. Um... And yeah, everything else I took out from the room was basically like frames that are going to go in other rooms or I have to, well, I have to put stuff in the frames and then figure out where I'm spreading them out in the house. And fabric, um, I have clean fabric, but I said I'd put that in the cabinet in the hallway. And then the storage containers, the black and yellow ones, those, one I, those ones I just put in the guest room because... One of them is basically clothes that we're not using right now. And then the other one is stuff that I'm just getting rid of. So either I'm going to donate or sell. Um, I'm trying to figure out what else. Oh, and then I took a little blue drawer thing where I had a lot of my hair tools. That I have to figure out in like putting those in the bathroom but then our cabinets aren't very like high. They're not like very big. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to put those in there or not. Because I don't need that in here. Um, so yeah, that's basically it as far as like the room itself. Then I have to do my makeup stuff. Just rearranging that and everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this like just a random like video like cleaning my room. I mean obviously it's much better 
now than I first started. I, I have to do so many things with this room that, you know, it's going to take some time, you know. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your bell notification so you don't miss out on more videos. And stay tuned for part two for my makeup stuff. And I will see you guys for the next one. Bye, guys.